What's going on guys? CSX finally back with another video talking about some of the updates to rail stuff. We got all kinds of really neat things going on in here. We got whistle posts and mile posts and we separated the signal from the mass so you can build your own and all kinds of really cool stuff. But what I really want to show you in this video is how to set up a custom occupation origin. It has been one of the biggest things that has been requested since the inception of rail stuff and it is the signal bridge we want to get that working so it's finally happened so let's take a look and see how it works so you can see it's a very crude signal bridge using uh steel fences and i just put these signals on top of it but it does look rather nice as the steel fence does attach to the signal itself so what I have here is just two plain old signal heads just sitting up here on the signal bridge and I want to get them to work with going up to this end ABS sign down at the end here. But obviously we can't do that as we know it because they're not to the right of the track, they're above the track. So if I were to try this out, so if I click on the signal, hit occupation like you normally would, pair it with the signal and go down to your end ABS sign and pair it with it down here. We would hope that it would show, would be approach indication this direction, but we will see that it shows nothing. So if we click on the signal, it says no track found nearby. So now we need to remedy this situation. So I'm just gonna clear this out and I'm gonna place down a new signal and click occupation. And now what I'm gonna do is instead of pairing to the signal, I'm going to actually sneak and then click on the signal with a surveyor. And we'll see this in the bottom of the starting setting occupation origin. So what this is, is gonna do is you're gonna be able to tell it where you wanna actually start searching for trains. So in this case, I'm gonna do it right underneath the signal for the signal bridge. Actually, I'm gonna go right underneath the fence part. I'm gonna click on the track and then it says set origin clearing. And now I'm going to pair my signal to my end ABS block like I normally would, like so. Now, if I go back, I would definitely expect to see an approach indication. And yes, there it is. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this one. Remember this one is also set to manual for right now. So I'm gonna click occupation and then I'm gonna take my signal surveyor and I'm going to sneak, right click on it and you see in the bottom left it says starting setting occupation origin and then i'm going to click on the spot on the track where i want to start scanning and then i'm going to pair it to the sign like normal like so and now as we go back we would see it set to red as we would expect which it is so everything is set up pretty well here so now if i take my train and run underneath the signal, I would expect it to drop down to red as soon as I pass underneath it. So let's give it a go. All right, now that it's all warmed up, let's take it underneath the signal bridge. And it should drop to red, as we would expect. There it goes, down to red. Perfect. So that's all I got for this video. It's a pretty short one, but it's an important one to see because now you know how to set up these occupation origins, which means you can have your signals to the left of your tracks, to the right of your tracks, above them, wherever you want them, really, and they're just going to work. So hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, coming up next, we're going to be having automated grade crossings, which is going to be exciting. Should be the next video that's coming out. It'll include some of the book bikes, too. So see you next time.